Hello, hello everyone. We are going to talk about the new moon in Cancer. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just do a general overview of the new moon in Cancer. For those of you that wish to get a sign by sign impact, please go to the link below. I have had so many people let me know that they want to see astrology on Psychic Sounds by B. And I will give you just the general overview of what you can expect kind of across the board. But if you do want to see the sign by sign outcomes, go ahead and go to the link below. It's the, it's the Rumble address below. Click on that and then that will take you directly to the video. So open up the description box, like open up more, click on more, the description box will open up. You will see at the top of that description box, the link to the new moon in cancer individual sign readings on rumble. It will take you directly to that location and let's go ahead and let's get started just with your general overview for this month. Oh, well, I wouldn't say month. It's about, it lasts about two weeks to 30 days. But usually uh, the new moons are about two weeks to about 20 days, right in there. But you know what? Everything varies. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get right into it. There are some interesting types of energies associated with this new moon, but I do want to uh, get into really what cancer is all about. Cancerian people and the sign of cancer rules the mother, it rules the home, and it rules the family. So you can expect a gentle nudge from the universe to say maybe is a good time for you to focus on that home renovation. Make your home a little bit more luxurious or bring in some creature comforts or update it, maybe now is a good time to bring the family back together in unity, in love, in appreciation, in respect. Maybe now is a good time to set an important conversation that you have with your mother uh, or that you will have with your mother in the upcoming 14 to 20 days, okay? That's the Cancerian energies. Cancerian energy also rules tradition. Anything that has a tradition associated with it, say, for example, we get together every August 5th, you know, that's a tradition, uh, we go meet at the local diner for coffee every other Sunday. That's a tradition. These things are very important because they're, they're really well aspected for some sort of new beginning. So say, for example, you have a good friend and you really don't see enough of each other, but you can meet for coffee for about an hour at the local diner put that tradition into place because this is such a beautiful way to use this energy, to intend anything new, anything that you want to see come to fruition, anything that you want to plant in very fertile soil. It could be anything to do with home, family, as well as tradition or the mother. Okay. But what is prompting this new tradition? What is prompting this uh, new beginning with family? What is prompting this desire for more luxury in the home or for more comfort in the home through updates or through rearranging furniture, whatever it may be, or even getting a new home? Well, uh, the energy coming along for the ride is Pluto square, the North Node. So right now, the North Node has ingressed into the third decan of Aries. What is Aries? Aries is all about courage, pioneering, the ego, the self, 
the selfishness. It is also all about how you start things, okay? Because Aries, by their nature, are starters. They're the ones that like to start a bunch of stuff, but they generally don't have the desire to finish it. They want somebody else to finish it. They're like, okay, we're going to do this. 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 And then you guys finish it. That's kind of the energy of Aries. But the thing is, is this, this energy that you're getting from the North Node to set forth on something is getting a lot of tension from Pluto in Capricorn. Now, Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn right now. This could have something to do with a Capricorn. I have to be honest with you. A Capricorn might be undergoing great transformation, great modification, great destruction. They may be, you know, redoing their home or nurturing a situation like a mother would nurture a situation, or maybe they're creating traditions, or maybe they're changing their family dynamic, whatever that could be. So with Pluto here squaring that north node, there is an importance with whatever it is you're intending with your home, your family, or your traditions, or your mother. It's very important to take into consideration that there will be tension created within your personal self because that's where the North Node is and everybody is going to be very selfish. Well, the North Node is in Aries. I cannot even begin to tell you. It's going to be all about them and only about them. And I got to be honest, there's nothing wrong with that. But we are going to have to try a lot harder to bring in a little bit more uh, camaraderie and negotiation. But that Pluto squaring that North Node is all about this person is going through all these changes, but I want to do what I want to do, but they're pulling me in this direction. So how am I going to negotiate with myself to bring in a sense of calm and a sense of fairness as it relates to whatever needs to be destroyed, be destroyed and be rebuilt? So you are going to be facing that type of energy. We also have a Mercury squaring Jupiter. So Mercury right now is at 12 degrees of Leo and Jupiter is at 11 degrees of Taurus. So when Mercury squares Jupiter in this way, you have got so much communication about a Leo person or about romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, pets, leadership, a big heart, even sometimes communication about drama. And this is squaring up against Jupiter in Taurus. So basically what's happening here is everything in Taurus is completely exaggerated or it's expanded upon or it is its breadth is growing. There's a growth here with Taurus. And because Jupiter is the planet that expands, it's, it's benevolence, it is abundant, it gets bigger. And so the energy with Taurus is all about self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, the body politic, creature comforts. So what's happening here is there's a push and a pull between the romance and the children and the creativity as it relates to the money, how much money there is, how much creature comfort do you want? You know, this could be a discussion which may be tense at times as it relates to creating um, perhaps a level of comfort for a romantic partner in a situation, a level of comfort for a child in a situation, uh, a level of, you know, money even. As the money is growing, where does that money need to go? The communication is all about 
Do I want to risk putting it here? Do I want to risk putting it there? This is that new moon energy uh, that is basically pulling in these two squares. So the reason someone wants to create the new with the family, the tradition, the mother, or the home is because these squares are causing a little bit of tension requiring someone to find the balance in the home and in the family and in their traditions and with their mother figure or how they nurture things. We also have this new moon squaring the north node. So not only is Pluto squaring the north node, the moon is squaring the north node. So basically you just basically add a dash of emotionalism add a dash of feelings or feels, add a dash of frustration. Someone might say something and it causes someone to be triggered. So just please be aware that that could be happening because that moon is also opposing Pluto. So the emotion that's associated with this energy is presenting itself because there is a transformation taking place in Capricorn or with a Capricorn person. So the acknowledgement of that transformation as it relates to status, career, as it relates to commitments, loyalties, banks, establishments, government, whatever it is, this is what is causing this, wait a minute, we've got to balance out these feelings with how things are transforming right now because the moon, the new moon in Cancer, and by the way, Cancer is ruled by the moon. So the moon is 100% in its strength. So those feelings are going to be apparent and someone's going to have to balance out those feelings, those motherhood feelings or those Cancerian feelings like I've talked about with what someone is going through as it relates to a transformation. Now, the good thing about it is, is we do have Venus trining the North Node here as part of this new moon, which is so very beautiful. And the reason why I say this is because right now, Venus is at 28 degrees of Leo, and that's gorgeous. And that North Node is at 29 degrees of Aries. So this is the beautiful thing. In the end, in the end, as long as you are loving yourself, everything else will take care of itself. So maybe you have to emit some sort of disgust or maybe some sort of argument or some sort of position with someone, but you don't hold on to it. You're just putting it out there so that you can establish your or they can establish their guidelines within a relationship, within a work relationship, a romantic relationship, a family relationship, and then let it go. Because Venus in Leo is bringing in love, 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 reciprocal energy and kindness into romance, children, creativity, risk-taking, pets. Your pets might be, especially with Venus and Leo, your pets are going to be really cuddly. <laughs> For some of you, you might see that some of your pets are just like wanting to get all over you and just want to cuddle. Okay, so that loving energy is coming through here and it is in beautiful, beautiful trine with Aries, which is how one moves forward in this new path that we're all blazing basically this new trail that we're blazing now that the north node is in aries at 29 degrees we are more focused on our courage ourselves and our ego we want our needs to be met 
we are going back to basically, I would say, kind of like the neonatal adolescent stage. Like, you know, when, when you're born and you're hungry, you cry, okay? This is not all that indifferent. Aries is the neonate of the zodiac. They are the first sign of the zodiac. They are curious. They're all about themselves. If they're uncomfortable, everybody's going to know it. If they're happy, everybody's going to know it. Whatever it is. Okay? If they want to pass gas, they're going to pass gas. They don't look at it as embarrassment. They look at it as, okay, I have to relieve myself from this pressure in my belly. They are neonates. They are going to do and they are going to act as though they are the center of the universe because they are. So you have that beautiful, beautiful energy between Aries and Leo working together to say, you know what? I know that you are very concerned about how you feel in this situation and I'm really concerned about how I feel in this situation. So let's get to a truce here so that we have a win-win situation, so that there, there is no love lost here. Let's work together so that we're both served in a way that is going to be a win-win situation. Like I said, you know, when when you got two different sides of the coin here, you've got Aries, you got Leo, and you're looking at, I want the romance. I want, you know, I want my children to be happy. I want creativity. I want this. And then you've got Aries saying, it's all about me. Make those two work together. Get to the compromise where both people feel as though they can be creative. They feel as though they're heard. They feel as though they're appreciated or respected. They feel as though they're blazing a trail. I think you guys get my point. In the end, all of this external energy has everything to do with the reason that there is a new beginning in the home, the family, and the mother energy in your life, as well as traditions, okay? All right, guys, just wanted to give you that particular update and um, just a short one, just so you guys can get your general astro reading. And for those of you interested, please make sure you do go to the link. Once you click the more button, It'll open up the description box, go to the link down there, and it will say New Moon in Cancer, sign by sign reading. Click on that, it'll take you right to the video if you are interested. All right, wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.